Yeah, real. I'm going to What did you say? I should what? I said give. Come on, come get which head. What is wrong with what you? What is wrong with I, I, I've told you. So you, you want me to use this mouth, this, this, this tongue to. to, to. Yes, hey, come on, come on. Hey, don't, 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 don't touch I'm me. Your wife. And so what? And so what? Is it candy? Is it banana? You, you that we use. Me? Come on. You don't try. You wouldn't know. I would never try. What kind of rubbish is that? I've told you, I, I, I don't do, do, do... I've never done that before and I would never do it. What's the matter of that? Don't ever, don't ever tell me to, 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 to do that nonsense. What kind of dirty thing is that? A, a, a man like me should, should, should be putting head there. For what? Look, but, but that lie down and let's have sex. Because there's nothing I can do. I'm already in the mood. I can't go up the mood. Lie down and go, go from your leg. Your wife. Come inside, do this to behave like a human being. Hey, honey. Come on. Oh, why not go take a cool bath? It is good for you after a hard sex like this. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you're here. Obviously. Oh, okay. That's all right. Um. Yeah. So. Um, there's something I said I was going to talk to you about. Really? Yeah. What is it? Why is it that you always lie like a log of wood anytime I'm making love to you? Like, you seem so detached and uninterested in in the act of love making. Why? I, 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 I try to wrap my head around it, but I, I, I cannot. All right, when, when we make love, I want you to, to mourn, scream, scream to the high heavens, scream my name, shout, move around, fling yourself, different styles and all of that. Do something that, 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 that will spice it up. Spice it up, okay. So you, you, you want me to, let me see if I understand what you're saying. You want me to, to scream, to yeah. scream really loud. You want me to, to, to moan to the high heavens, right? To play all sorts of soundtracks while you are, you know, making love to me, right? Uh, yet you will go down there. How do you want me to scream your name and moan to the high heavens? Well, I guess I'm in luck of wood. Hi, Nkem, how are you doing? Hi, baby, welcome. Yeah, it's all right. Sit How's down, it? sit down. Let's get, let's get. Okay, there's something I want to show you, baby. What? What is it's it? right here. Oh, God. Yeah. See that? Oh. Okay. You see the way she, um, she was mourning, all right, and participating in the act. She wasn't just, you know, lying down like a log of wood. Did you see that? Wait a minute. Yeah? Did you 
did you just show me porn? Like, what do you take me for? A porn star? No, no, I'm, I'm not saying you're a porn star. It's a learning process, okay? I, I want you to learn how that she's mourning pleasurably in the act, okay? It's, it's something I want you to learn. Oh, All right? Don't worry, it's, it's not a big deal. Just, you have to send that, right? Let me send it to you. Send it, excuse, excuse me. Mm -hmm. So there's something I want to show you, okay? It's it? here on my phone. Here we go. It's a video on how to give women oral sex. What? Come on, no, 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 no. Why, why would you want me to watch this? What's this? Baby, it's just a video, an explanatory video on how to go down and make... Hey, 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 listen, I'm, I'm a man, okay? An African man as that. You, you don't expect me to do this. What's the meaning of... Oh, you, you, you want me to do this to you? Baby, but you, earlier on you wanted me to see a video on how to, you know, moan and scream to the high heavens for you. I just wanted you to see how you can hey, get, 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 get that thing out of my face. What kind of rubbish, what rubbish is that? Can you try? Come on, leave you, John. Continent. My dear, I'm really hurting in this marriage. Davis, what is it? I'm going through hell in my marriage. My husband is a half man. Half man as in? He's a one minute man. He doesn't last up to a minute on top of me. Wow. Are you serious? I'm dead serious and this oh. thing is killing me slowly. I love sex and I love to have enough of it when I'm having it. But my husband, as soon as he comes, he just walks away without caring if I'm satisfied or not, if I've had enough or not. He just doesn't care. Have you spoken to him about it? No. Why? You should talk to him about it. He should know how, how you feel about this whole thing. But how do I bring up this discussion? You know, my husband is a very proud person. <sighs> You know men and their ego now. Mm -hmm. How do I tell him without crushing his ego? Well, babes, you can't be dying in silence. You need to speak up about this whole thing. That's why it's called marriage. Okay, so how do I tell him about it? Well, you... Okay, you know what? For me, I tell my husband how I feel about my sexual desires and feelings and even though he doesn't agree with me on on a lot of them but i don't hide it you get wait a minute you mean your husband is a one minute man too no i mean no but he doesn't like to go down there yeah i mean he thinks that oral sex is disgusting, like he's irritating, he doesn't want to do it. And I don't know how else to tell him I enjoy it and I want it. And that is the only way that I can reach orgasm during sex. Wait, does that mean you're not enjoying sex in your marriage? <sighs> no, I don't. I don't. I'm just frustrated, frustrated about everything, like, my husband is driving me crazy. Sorry. Wait, what, what would you call what we just had now? In your mind, you think this is sex? Listen, I, I want you to scream, shout, make noise. Even deaf and dumb people, they, they, they make noise when they are making love. But you, you just you just lie like, like one log of wood. I don't even understand what, 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 what kind of robot you are. I am not going to scream. I don't... I'm, yes, I will not scream. If you want dogs to scream for you, then go and get dogs. I'm not a dog. Listen, you, you will scream. All. <sighs> all right, I married you with my money. And you must do what I want you to you do. You married me with money, and so... And so you will give me the reaction I want. Scream! Go on, shout my name, uh, shake the bed, do something. I cannot scream because I don't enjoy sex with you. Ah! Ah! Whew. Ah! Did 
you just say you don't enjoy sex? Yes! I don't enjoy having sex with you! Sex with you is boring, it's just... Come on, what, 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 do you know? All those, all those uh, energy I put into, into trying to make you happy, you, you, you're, you're saying it's, 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 it's boring. Just, just, just go to the market, let them sell you as a mannequin. Just go and, and hang like this, so they will know that you are not human. <laughs> so you had the F1 tree? To tell me that you don't enjoy sex with, me, right? Uh -huh. So tell me, who do you who, who do you enjoy sex with? You know what? Please, 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 please. I don't have time this much. Please, just instead of you to, to to sit up and apologize to me, you're here adding more rubbish to this nonsense you're saying. What's wrong with you? Are you out of your mind? Like I said, just kindly walk away and leave me the heck alone. Okay, I'm busy. Are you talking to me like that, Ifoma? Huh? huh? Are you out of your mind? Ah! Who, who are you talking to like that? Are you are you okay? My head. Why are you running? Chukma, what is it? What is it? What is the problem? Do you know that I narrowly escaped being brutally attacked by my wife this morning? How? What happened? I confronted her about something stupid that she did. Alright? And in, in, in the process, you know, just genuinely advising her, she picked up some, some, something from, from the center table and was going to hit me. Even for my agility, my flexibility, you know, and, and, and my swiftness. My brother, it would have been something different. I probably would, would be in the hospital with a broken head or that's if, if at all I, I wouldn't be in the mortuary by now. I, 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 I blame you for it. I blame you for everything. What, what, what's the meaning of that? Yes, I blame you. Why? I mean, you want to correct your wife or you want to, you want to correct her for the stupid things she has said or, or she did. I mean, I mean, why would you do it in a place where she can see something to hit you? Or, or see a weapon? You should have taken her somewhere, somewhere that you keep her and treat her. That... Okay, tell me, where exactly can I take her to that she wouldn't devise a means or, or, or try to give something to hit me? Where? Now, let me tell you. If you want to deal with a woman, two places you shouldn't try that. The balcony and the kitchen. Okay? So you should have somewhere. Somewhere that anytime she, she does something stupid, you can go there and treat her. Example. Oh, talk, talk, I'm listening. <laughs> hey, Income. How are you? Um, uh, it's bedtime. Can we go to bed now? Income. Okay. Go to bed and do what? Let's go and sleep. Hmm? Baby. You mean after you almost beat me up today? Go anywhere. Hey, come on now. I see. I see. Can I? I'm very sorry, okay? I was only angry. I, I promise it's never gonna happen again. Come on now, please. Fine. Because of God, I'll forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Alright then, so. Because of God, can we can we go to bed now? <laughs> <laughs> Only on one condition. Tell me, baby. And I'll do it right away. <laughs> that yeah. you give me yeah. Conilingus. Conilingus. <laughs> Sounds like the name of a flower. <laughs> <laughs> Next 
Exactly. What is that? Where can I buy it from? That hmm? you go down and give me head. Baby, oh don't don't baby, don't who are you baby? I've warned you about this head thing. Baby. Oh, so that's what they call calling English with that beautiful name. That, 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 that it means this rubbish. We're just having a moment. Which moment? I even thought it was something I can buy in the market. What what is that? Oh God. Baby. See, don't don't. Uh, you know, I'd rather go to the room and, and hug, hug my pillow than than, than this lonely cook. Nonsense. Nonsense. Baby, you See you later then. Ow! Literally. Like this entire area just. Oh, really? Yeah. Sorry. Like, I don't know why if I over. Oh. Hey, Fama! Uh. Oh. Morning, sir. Uh, uh, what's happening here? What's, what's going on? This is my, my fitness coach. Would you spare me that nonsense? What, what are you doing here? Shout out me, this is where I work out. Hey, you better shut up and get into that car right now! Whoa. Move! Are you speaking to me like that. Then get into the car! Speak to me like that! Are, are you mad? Is there something wrong? Get it! Come on! Get it. Ah! Move! Get it <laughs> would you just... Hey, 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 would you stop that? Who was that guy? You saw it again, Abin. I said, who was that? My fitness coach. Are you cheating on me with him? What? Listen, I beg your pardon. Hey, don't, don't beg my pardon, nothing. All right, you told me you don't enjoy sex with me. I guess you found someone you enjoy sex with. Because he looks like a hunk. So are you cheating on me with him? Oh, God. I am not doing anything with him. Like I said, he's just my fitness coach. I don't want you to go to that gym again. What? You heard me. And if I ever see you with that guy, I don't get you. Like, what, what, what do you mean? One minute, please. What's that? Wait. What about your wife? What about your wife? Your mother's woman keeps crying every night for me just to reason. Every night. Are you sure you're not saying some hurtful things to her without realizing it? Not at all. Not at all. In, okay, even if I'm saying hurtful things to her, at least she should just call me and tell me. But well, she's not. And whenever I ask her what is going on, why is she crying? She should she, say, uh, uh, nothing. I am sick and tired of this nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm sick and tired of it. How long has this been for? Quite some time now, but I just noticed that two months ago. I'm just taking okay. a What else? I'm 
don't tell me that you want to start training your wife. I have to, okay? Wait, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, not you. Yeah, um, I'm Duncan. Yeah, I, I, I need you to come to the hotel reception right away. Yeah, I should come there. Yeah. What's happening there? You have to be fast, okay? Okay, I'm coming right away. All right then. Yeah. <sighs> so, hope you didn't take your time to look at here. This place? Mm -hmm. I've been here before. Maybe twice? Really? Yeah, not once. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this guy, I hope he's not going to keep us waiting for too long. Honestly, I don't know, but I'm sure he will be here like in an hour. We're going to be here waiting for an hour. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was feeling so bored at home and I needed to chill out. That's why I called you to start coming out immediately so we could chat and drink Did I while we oh, wait Jesus for him. <laughs> Did I tell you I was bored at home? I'm sorry now, but you know I couldn't stay here all alone. I needed company, oh, babe. Man, friends, can't do without them. Can do with them. Anyways, what is so serious that this guy is bringing for you? Serious? Yeah. Deal freaking. <laughs> You're terrible! I'm so excited, I can't wait. <laughs> oh my god! Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> Your wife is here. My wife? Yes. What's my wife doing here? Where is she with? My wife. With your wife? Yes. What are you doing here? I, 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 I don't know. You don't know. I, I just creep through and I think that they might be at the bar. Bar? Yeah. Just keep them out. Say, you know, we have to be careful, okay? Oh, what? So they don't, they don't see us. But my wife is in there, you're telling me to be careful. You have to go and see what they're doing. Yeah, but you, you have to be careful so you can you can understand what's happening there. The wife is in there. You can't stop me. Let me just watch. Have you seen anything? Are you blind? Blind? How? Oh my son, this is just two women drinking. That, that's all I saw. Uh, I mean, I mean, and, and then doing the usual women gossip, that's it. So, you, in your head now, doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean anything, it means nothing. And what about the just, just, just you can wear the bad drinking? Uh -huh. Definitely yeah. something that we're doing over it, there. Why must it be in, in, in this kind of environment? Splendor. They have the right to drink anywhere, in a decent place that they can drink. See, they're not doing anything. As to you, okay, fine, fine, fine. Are you trying to tell me you don't trust your wife? Ah. Let's go and join them. No. 
they are not going to be comfortable. But you understand? They, they can't even do the usual women gossip if we go there and sit down with them. We will gossip with them. Gossip what? Gossip business. Of gossip not. Let's go back to the bar and drink. What if they, they leave you now and, and, and you know, to do what? Yeah. Let's go back to the bar and drink. I'll drink our own drink. I'll drink their own drink. Why are you staring at me like that? What were you doing at the hotel? Sorry? Don't say that to me. What were you doing at Jovial Hotel with Duncan's wife? I wasn't in the hotel hotel. I was having a drink and chatting with my friend at the bar. I'll tell you something that's gonna freeze your bone marrows. So Jamal, what is it? It's about our wives. Our wives? What about our wives? I figured something. Yeah. Chukuma, what did you figure out? You see, I have every reason to believe that those women are lesbians. Les what? Yeah, lesbians. They are having an affair. And that's exactly what took them to Jovial Hotel the other day. Chukuma, how did you come about all this? Bro. I used my number six, okay? Lately, my wife has been making some obnoxious demands of me. I had coupled with some kind of statements that she made. And then I also factored in what she said about your wife always crying. So? That's why she's always crying. Guilty feeling. Chukuma, all you're saying, I mean, all you just said, I mean, it's not adding up. It makes no sense. And I mean, it, I, that, that, that should not make us to conclude that our wives are lesbians or having an affair. No! I know what I'm saying. Okay? And you have to believe me. All we need to do is just keep an eye on them and very soon we'll catch them red-handed. A taxi. Yeah, I don't know where they're going to, but I'm trailing them. Yeah. All right, then I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? okay. Bye. Wait, I, I, the, the taxi dropped your wife. 
home, then brought my wife back home. Back home? Okay. Just dropped my wife and brought your wife back home. And they didn't go anywhere else apart from the beauty shop. Just to make their hair, isn't it? Well, it seems so. Why come they spend excessive time in, in, in the beauty shop? Just because they're trying to make their hair. What are you talking of hair? For how long would they be making hair in the beauty shop? Okay, let's even leave that one aside. We needed to see the way they were holding their hands coming out of the beauty shop. Chukuma, how were they holding their hands? They were holding their hands like lovers. Like they had something, they have something intimate going on. Normal people don't hold hands like that. Chukuma, Cecil, let me tell you. I just can't get this whole thing around my head. Hmm. Right? I mean, I, I find it very difficult to, to, to believe that my wife is not straight. Well, yeah, but because I, I know my wife is straight. It's, it's okay. You can think what you want to think. You see the way you are, you are behaving now? It's the same way I was very pained before. I didn't, I didn't want to believe it. But I mean, this is what it is. We have to stop living in denial and, and find a way to, to save our marriages. So what do we do? What do we do? So since we cannot pin them down, I, I, I just think we should just let this suspicion slide. Right? Just let it go. It won't slide. It won't. But it has to. But dear. Whatsoever to intrude on my privacy. Oh, this is why you spread hours on the bathroom. Who's touching this nonsense? What's touching all this rubbish? Why are you asking me questions as if I were a kid? Now I know. Now I know the real you. What's that supposed to mean? Will you just shut up? Just shut up. You're just a disgrace. You're a disgrace to me, to your family, to everyone. Now oh, I know the kind of woman I got married to. So that's good. That's good. That's, that's, this should be the last time I've ever said this in my house. Nonsense. I'm a small size. to lesbians. Did she confess to you? No, she did not confess, but there's something I I discovered something about. What is that? Well, never mind. It's not something we should be talking about right now. But, 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 but the point is, what are we going to do? What should we do? Well, we just have to wait till we catch them red-handed. Catch them? Yeah. I have to catch them red-handed. Um, I don't think it's right for us to catch our wives red-handed. I mean, uh, I, 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 can't, I, I can't stand that sight. Seeing my wife on top of your wife or your wife on top of my wife. We no. catch them white-handed if it's not red-handed. With uh, white hands, we can catch them. Left. It's going to be terrible, but I mean, what do we do? I, I can't even imagine it. Are you sure? How can you be this careless? 
You're here, yeah, something is funny, and you didn't perceive it. You want to burn this entire house down? What's wrong with you? Are you not careless now? Enough! Enough! Stop yelling at me after all. All this is your fault! My fault? How is it my fault? Tell me, are you a man? Huh? Are you a man? Can't you just be a man for once? Why would she ask me that? Have I not been carrying out my duties as a husband? I provide everything for them, everything, everything they need I provide for them. I mean, I, I, I perform well in bed. She's even carrying my child now and, and, and she's telling me I... Chooks, I have a present for you. What is it? How else can a man be a man? <laughs> I don't get you. What kind of question is that? It's my wife. Your wife, what is that? Yes, my wife, my wife wants me to be a man. Man, this thing is causing serious problem in my marriage. It is not a laughing matter. Seriously. <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh, but... <laughs> okay, you maybe you're not... Are you, are you doing your manly duties, man? What are my manly duties? How else am I supposed to do my manly duties? I make love to her when she wants me to make love to her and when I want to make love. I provide for the house and make sure the lock on in at home. So what else? As I'm talking to you right now, my wife is two months pregnant for me. Are you serious, yes, man? Yes, I'm serious. You're such a machine, man. <laughs> Congrats. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Thank you. And I provide everything for I give them enough money every month. Okay, perhaps you are just not, you know, giving her enough money. That's the you problem. You don't understand that I give her more than enough. So what can the problem be then? I don't know. She said even if I give her the entire world, that she's not going to be happy unless that she just wants me to be a man. This is serious, man. So I mean, how else would you be a man? I don't get it. See, now you have come back to that same question I was asking you that you were laughing. Yeah, honestly, I, I mean, I, I didn't know it was this serious, you know. It's quite serious. But you see, the truth is, she's the only one that can tell you how you're gonna be a man. I, don't, I really don't understand. And I think you should just call her, sit her down, and you guys have a proper conversation about it. I know. Drink. You'll be fine. I know already. <sighs> what the time is. Go on, watch it. Yeah. Are you going out? Yes. Now? <sighs> yes. If I may ask, where are you going to? <sighs> I'm going to the cinema to see a movie. Alone? What is that supposed to mean? It's just a question. Are you going alone or not? <sighs> I'm going with Ruth. What, what's that? Are you out of your mind? What is that supposed to mean? Listen, are you sure you're not having an affair with Ruth? Why would you make such silly insinuations? Just shut up, okay? I have told you to severe ties with that lady, but you won't listen. The day I catch you guys red-handed, you will regret ever being born. And hey, better sit down, guy. You're going nowhere. What has come over this man? What has come over this man? <laughs> oh my god! That's why I did not just you. Uh uh, what happened? Guess what my husband thinks. He thinks that I'm a lesbian. Oh my god. As in, I can't even believe I didn't just you. Guess who he thinks I'm in it with? Who? You! Me? <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny. It is, oh. It is very funny. In fact, the very first time I heard it, 
I slapped him. But now I've decided that I'm not going to let it get to me again. As in... But this is very ridiculous. Really, really ridiculous. Like, where did they even get that idea from? Well, what would even make him have such impression about you? I don't know. Only him, himself and himself. I do not know. Wow. It's like your husband is home early today. <laughs> He probably came to pick up something. Hey, good afternoon. Just hold that greeting there. Hold it. So I don't want to ever see you in my house again. Zakle, guess I'm talking to you. Honey, why are you embarrassing my friend? Will you just shut up and get inside? Are you having a bad day? What's your problem? Now listen to me. I won't be this nice the next time I see you in my house. And you get inside. I think you get inside. Get inside. Go inside. Okay, I'm You won't press yourself up to this. You won't press anything again. I'm talking to you. Now tell me, what did she come here to do? What kind of question is that? Stop wasting my time and ask her my question. Did she sleep with you? What? Stop all this pretense. Did she do it with you? Did, did, did she lick you? Did people have sex? Did, 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 did you do it with her? Are you out of your mind? I'm asking you. You slap him. Yes, and I'll slap you again. And I'll see you for all you want. Nonsense. You slap me in my yes. house. In my house. Yes. In my house. Come here. Good morning, dear. How are you doing today? Very well, and you? So, are you busy today? Mm, not at all. Alright, so I was wondering if you would like to accompany me to the mall. I'd like to do some small shopping today. What about our husbands? You know their disposition concerning us. Please, 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 leave those ones, Jim. I beg. Is it men that cannot satisfy their wives? They shouldn't be regarded as husbands. Please, let's just go out and do some small shopping and have fun. I beg, I beg. All right, I will see you in a jiffy. <laughs> My sentiments exactly like... <laughs> Duh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> My friend is very naughty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, baby, look forward to that. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> okay, so time to get up. <clears throat> Haven't I wanted to stay away from her? And you haven't I wanted to stay away from her? What is wrong with both of you guys? You guys enjoy your friendship and yet you don't want us, you want us to separate. Yes, that's because I, I don't trust what you guys are doing with each other. What am I wasting my time for? Shopping. Uh, you, come on, Alele. Let's, let's go. Sorry. 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 Let's go inside. Your wives are lesbians? That's as what we found out. Yes, yes, sir. Hmm. Uh, but I, uh, I, I want to ask. Did you ever catch them in the act? No, 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 Pastor. We did not catch them red-handed. But, but um, there's, the signs are there that um, they are lesbians and they are having this relationship. They are symptoms. Symptoms. Mm. Yeah. This is the biggest manipulation from the deepest part of hell. And I assure both of you that your wives will be delivered. Amen. 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 Brothers. In these last days, things like this are 
paramount. Hmm. You see, the enemy, the devil, goes around invading Christian homes. What? Homes with promising anointing. In John 10.10, 10, the Bible made us to understand that the enemy, the devil, has come to kill, to steal, and destroy. Don't go uh, be mad at your wives because uh, they don't do these things with their senses. Mm. It's actually the enemy that is manipulating them. That's true. Yeah, true. true. That's very true. So, um, Pastor, what, what do we do? Prayers, my brother. Mm. You have to involve yourself in three days fasting and prayers. Mm. Yes. And after which, you will see the change in their life. Wow. Three days fasting. Uh, but Pastor, what, what, kind, what of kind of fasting? fasting? Is it dry or well, abstaining from food and water? Concentrating only on the things that concerns God. What's, what's going on here? Uh, good morning. No, 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 no. What, what are you doing? Um... No, I, I thought I told you that, that, that Pastor Jude asked that we commence a, a three days prayer and fasting from today. Why, why are you eating? I'm sorry, a three day and fasting, what, for, for what exactly? Don't act like you don't know what we're talking about here. You know you have, you have sexuality issues. All right, and this, this, this three days pain and fasting wow. is to deliver you from, from uh, um, um, your, your, your sexuality problem. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <sighs> my husband, my husband. You never cease to amaze me. Are you serious right now? You mean you won't tell Pastor Jude that I am a lesbian? I mean, how, how did it even come out of your mouth? How did it even come out of your mouth? Listen, I, I don't know what you're talking about here, but I'm just, just, I'm just going to give you the grace of today. All right, from tomorrow, we will commence with that three days spring and fasting. After which, you will go and meet Pastor Jude, and they have to conduct a, a very special kind of deliverance for you. I've heard you, sir. Have a lovely day. I'm your lesbian wife. <laughs> doc, the doc. <laughs> See you again, bro. Same here, same here, doc. Same here. So, how is business? Business is good. Um, you know, <laughs> we can't complain. <laughs> That's the language of businessmen. Always managing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, so how's your wife and the pregnancy? My wife? Uh, yeah? Wife is fine, but pregnant? What, what pregnancy are you talking about? about your wife and pregnancy, of course. Uh, did, did she tell you she, she was pregnant? What are you saying? I conducted a test and I confirmed she's pregnant. Nobody told me. Are you trying to say you know where your wife is pregnant? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, it's all right. I'll um, I'll, I'll, I'll sort that out. But uh, what, can you tell me when exactly she conducted this test? And that was a month ago, and as of then, she was um, three weeks and uh, two days gone. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Congrats, bro. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. You're going to be a father. I yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> So how, how has work been? Very fine. We're doing well. Mm. The usual hospital, um, buzzing and hustling and all that. Well, thank God everything was going fine. Who's the father of the baby in your womb? What kind of question is that? Listen, it's a straightforward question, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you pregnant, yes or no? I am. Who's responsible? <laughs> you, of course. So why didn't you tell me? Well, you were going to find out sooner or later. I was going to find out sooner or later? Why are you talking like this? Huh. Do you know how embarrassed I feel hearing from an outsider that you're pregnant? 
Not one week, not two weeks, but two months. Why would you do this? And we live in this same house. Now tell me the truth. Are you sure this baby is mine? Are you sure the pregnancy is yours? Don't come. If you ask me when, I don't know. I'm just confused. I don't know what to believe anymore, whether it is or it's not. I'm just floating in the air. Are you trying to tell me that you did not notice any change? I mean, as in someone that is pregnant? Nothing. I mean, what do I know? What I know when a lady gets pregnant, the only thing I notice is that her, her, her stomach starts to bulge. <laughs> <You see, laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> my own case is even worse. Mm. Mine is worse. That's my wife keeps breathing every minute, every day. Mm. I'm telling you, you know, the, the, the worst part of it is that she, I mean, she doesn't talk to me. Uh -uh. And she will start crying and maybe we'll finish having sex. Seriously, she won't even allow me to start the next round. <laughs> I'm telling you. She <laughs> cries. She cries. <laughs> what kind of cry is that? <laughs> yeah, or is it, it. Is it pain <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> or is uh, it's really big? I don't ah, know. Well, it's God's gift. I don't know the devil's gift. <laughs> you know, it can be. <laughs> oh, and then again, you know that uh, it could be this thing that they talk about, you know, lesbians not enjoying sex. Um, are you sure? I, I, I don't know. I just, I'm just suggesting. Well, you know, this whole thing is confusing. Seriously, yeah. it is. Well, um, as for me, I'm going to, I'm going to see someone tomorrow. Yeah, particularly because I need my wife. Ah. Yeah. So, who are you going to see? Who no, in particular? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about her after I meet her. Ha. Ha. <laughs> so, are you going to our office to see her? No, her father's house. After the house. In the other room. <laughs> yeah. Yes, who's there? Open. Good evening. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Yeah. My name is Mr. Chukumau Chendo. Please sit. Right, thank you. Um, so I... Uh, ah, so um, in recent times I've been listening to your... your radio show. Yeah. You mean marriage clinic? Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, marriage clinic like you said. And, you know, I, I must say I like the way you prefer solutions to marital issues and um, ah, quite impressive you're doing a very good job thank you yeah. i'm honored yeah it's okay it's okay <sighs> so uh, you know i i uh, i thought that it was going to be very cool to see you one-on-one -on -one rather than pull a call through on the radio show yeah and that's that's why i'm here 
to okay. to let you know some of the problems I'm facing. All right, actually, I'm a professional marriage counselor and a sex therapist. No. The radio shows I do are for free, but if you want to see me one-on-one, -on -one, then it's for you to Ah, no, that's not a problem. <laughs> that's, that's totally fine, okay? Yeah. Right. So, um, what exactly is the problem? Ah, <sighs> it's, it's my wife. Okay, what about her? I, I think she's lesbian. You think or you know? I know. I, I believe I know she's lesbian. How long have you been married for? Uh, yeah, 25th of next month should make it two years. Did you catch her in the act or she confessed to you? No, no, no. Neither of both, you see. But I, I, I strongly believe because of some of the things that she does, you know. Yeah. What are these things that she does? Yeah, so many weird things that she does, you know. One, one day she looked into my eyes and pointedly told me she doesn't enjoy sex with me. That's, like, that's, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. You know, and um, she would always hang about with my friend's wife at suspicious places. And, uh, she, she, she got pregnant and she wouldn't tell me. I got to know from her doctor. It's just, just, just so weird and so many other things that she does. It's just crazy. Very well then. Um, I think you should bring her here tomorrow so that we can have a one-on-one -on -one discussion. And then we'll take it up from there. That's fine. Uh, very well, and I'll, I'll bring you along tomorrow. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. I sure will, and you too. Bye. I see a marriage counselor today and she asked that I I bring you along tomorrow to see her. You want me to come with you? Yeah, she she, she wants to have a word with us about about our marriage. I'm not I'm not going. I know there's a problem with this marriage. Uh -huh. You think? Yes, no, I know. Wow. And I know you know there's a problem with this marriage. Really? Yes, baby. And for the sake of, of the baby in your womb, please, let's find a lasting solution to this. Let's, let's see her and let's, let's end this and, and move forward, baby, please. So how are you, my dear? I'm fine, thank you. Mr. Chandler, how are you? Very well. I um, understand you two are having issues in your marriage and that's why you're here. We are? <sighs> um, before we start discussing that, can I ask you two a question? Mrs. Chandu, do you want to work on your marriage? No, if it's possible. And you, Mr. Chandu, do you want to work on your marriage? Why am I here? Fair enough. Mm. What did you say the problem is again? Thank you very much for asking. You see, I suspect that my wife here is lesbian. <sighs> yes, don't ah. Uh, please, let me just finish what I'm saying. Ever since I stopped her from seeing the woman that she's always with, she changed totally. She doesn't talk to me. She keeps to herself. She doesn't want to have anything to do with me at all. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. 
All right? All I want in my home is just sanity and peace. Is that too much to ask? Okay. We're actually making progress. So, Mrs. Ochendo, are you lesbian? No, I'm not. Hmm. It's just a figment of his imagination. He knows that I'm... He just stop being childish about this whole thing and keep tagging me to something that I am not. I'm not tagging you to what you're yes, not. You it is what you are. You are you are Mr. lesbian. Mr. That's what you are. I mean, if I knew what the problem is, I wouldn't be here. Actually, we're not here to debate on who can outtalk each other. Please tell me. But to solve this issue. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Very well then, um, Mrs. Suchendo, you said you, your husband knows what the problem is. But do you think he deserves to be reminded? There is no point in reminding ourselves that the sky is above us. The sky is above us. Proverb. Okay. I think this is where we will end today's discussion. Please, Mrs. Suchendo, I would like to see you tomorrow morning. Probably by um, 10 a.m. Yes. And please come alone. Thank you. Are we done? Yes, please. Do you have to do this every night? Do you have to cry every night? Come on, you, you're, you're not a baby anymore. Don't stop acting like an overpampered baby. Can you leave me alone, you lazy man? I'm sick and tired of this hell you call a marriage. I'm tired! How are you, my dear? Fine, I guess. And your husband, how is he? Fine, I guess. Well, Mrs. Uchendo, the reason I told you to come alone was for us to have a woman-to-woman -woman conversation. Mm -hmm. In marriage, one of the most important ingredients is communication. Yes. The way we communicate to our spouse determines the kind of response we get. Actually, your husband said he doesn't know what the problem is. But you say you know what the problem oh, is. That much I know. The both of you might be right. But you're communicating the wrong way. And this affects a lot. You see, we women might have our unique ways of handling issues and all. But some men are not wired like that. They like it when you spell it out to them loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, how are you communicating with your husband? Oh, I communicate loud and clear. It's just my husband who has chosen not to understand. You see, Doctor, I try to explain things to him in simple and clear enough terms, but my husband has chosen not to understand. I mean, the only reason why we are here in our current status is because he has chosen not to do what I asked him to do two years ago. Okay. Just so we understand each other. What was it you asked him to do two years ago that he didn't want to do? Well, I guess there's no harm in trying since we're already here anyways. The thing is, I told my husband that the only way I enjoy sex is if he gives me cunnilingus, but he has adamantly refused. Sorry, by cunnilingus you mean oral sex? Yes. Okay, continue. He has bluntly refused, and I told him that the only way I can enjoy sex with him is if he goes down there. But he thinks it's a... He just 
what he does is just bang, 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 bang. And once it's done, he comes and he walks away. And then he wants me to pretend to be enjoying it and be moaning. And that's not possible. And all of this is just driving me crazy. I see. But did he give you any reason why he doesn't want oral sex? <laughs> Doctor, he says that um, it's a very dirty act. That it's unholy and immoral. And I'm just like, look at me. I'm a very neat person. Are you doing the funny thing? <laughs> he wouldn't even let me reciprocate. He wouldn't allow me to give me a BJ. And I'm like, dude, do you know what you're missing? Mrs. Uchendu, have you been practicing same-sex stuffs? I beg your pardon? Oh! <laughs> I see where this is going. Doctor, there is nothing curved about me. I am very, very straight. That's just my husband trying to cook up a cock and bull story for some weird reason. Thing your wife told me ah. that was why I sent for you okay what is it she said the problem is because of your refusal to give her oral sex huh? are you serious I'm very very serious Jesus doctor no no no, no doctor just think about this thing that, that, that she's telling you how is it possible that this sort of a thing would bring problem in, in, in our marriage. How? What do you have against oral sex? Why won't I have a problem with oral sex? No, I, I, I should just bring out my tongue and I'm be licking something, a, a private thing. Oh, but you cannot bring out your mature tongue to be licking something. But you can put something else there, Abby. Ah, but that something doesn't have a tongue. Oh, see what I have to deal with. Hmm. Mr. Chendu, there is nothing unhealthy about oral sex provided that area is clean and free from STDs. Thank you. Even the one that's even unhealthy and has a... Sorry, doctor. Please, go ahead. Oral sex is a thing of choice. You don't enjoy it. She does. The both of you will have to come to some sort of compromise. I'll tell you something for free. If you want to see a happy wife, then satisfy her. If giving her head is what the issue is, then please go ahead and do it. See, a woman has to be emotionally, psychologically and mentally ready for sex before she can enjoy it. If you bang her from now till eternity, she won't reach orgasm, which is the height of sexual satisfaction for women. Once you do that thing she wants you to do, believe me, you will set her body on fire and she will show you gratitude. You see, some women will never come until they are soaked. The wife knows her body and she knows what works for her. There is no amount of money that can solve a problem that sexual dissatisfaction causes in marriage. Doctor, 
I am finding it difficult to understand this thing. Even you're a doctor. So, so now you're telling me that to, 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 to leak is not a problem, it's healthy. It is morally wrong. It is, it is, it is on head to leak. I'm a man. Mr. Chendu, we are not trying to investigate the morality of oral sex, but to provide a solution to your marital issues. Please, take your wife home. Give her what her body wants. And I promise you, you will have a happy home. Hmm. 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 Between you and your wife, I mean, what has changed? A lot has changed, my brother. A lot. As in, as I'm speaking with you now, my wife and I, we are best of friends. Like, we have never been this close before. Never, ever. Chukuma, how did you do it? <laughs> well, um, you know, I didn't know what the problem was before, but uh -huh. I realized the problem. It was a very minor thing. Very minor thing. And can you imagine that this minor thing I'm talking about is of no monetary value? I'm, I'm not spending money on anything. As a matter of fact, my tongue solved the problem. Your tongue? Yes, tongue solved it. How did your tongue solve the problem? <laughs> you know, there are some things that we just cannot be saying anyhow. It is between me and my wife. But just in case you are interested in fixing your marital issues, I'll give you the address of the woman that fixed us. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's a, she's a marriage counselor and a sex therapist. She oh. will fix your marriage, bro. Oh, it's a woman that even fixed your own. A woman. A woman fixed it. <laughs> the woman fixed it. Fixed it, the woman. Chukuma, but I mm. thought we were in this together. I mean, what? our wives, you know, you know huh? we're telling ourselves that our wives are lesbians. No, 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 no. They're, they're into a relationship. No, no, you. Your own wife, not mine. Why would my wife be lesbian? No, 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 don't, don't, don't know no, the way no, they are no. holding themselves and everything. They are, you no. Know, people can hold their hands. It's, it's a normal thing. Oh, no. Yes. Don't, if I, as a matter of fact, let this be the last time that you would say that my wife is lesbian. How? She's straight, see, as straight as six o'clock. No bending. What do you mean? No bending. So you fixed it. Tongue fixed. Let me go and get you please, the address of please, the Please, give me your address, yes? Mr. Simbanifu, you don't throw away shirts because it's dirty. What do you do? 
you bring a soap and water and you wash the shirt and make it clean. The same way you're not supposed to walk away from your marriage simply because you have marital issues. We are here to solve these problems with counselings and prayers. We are not here to apportion blames. But to solve these issues. And how do we do this? By being open, unburdening your heart, and laying your cards on the table. Okay? Alright, that's fine. You've heard all your husband said. So, what are the things that you need him to do so that he can be a man? He... He makes love to me as if he... He's a half man. What did you say? Mr. Mbanifo, please be calm. Let her finish. Okay, madam. I'm sorry. It's okay. Please continue. What I'm trying to say is, my husband doesn't last up to a minute on top of me. As soon as he comes, he leaves. He doesn't care if I enjoy the sex or not. All he cares about is his own sexual satisfaction. And as soon as he achieves it, he leaves. And I'm left to wallow in disappointment, dissatisfaction, frustration, and heart-wrenching pain. You know, at a point, I got tired of enduring. I want to enjoy sex in my marriage. Or don't I have a right to sexual fulfillment and happiness in my marriage? Of course, you do. You have every right to sexual fulfillment and happiness in your marriage. Thank you. Now, both of you, listen to me. Premature ejaculation is a common problem amongst men. I get calls on a daily basis from men who have quick ejaculations, seeking solutions. Mr. Manifu, there's a book I wrote early this year. I'll give it to you to read. It will help you and give you tips on how to solve these problems. And again, you need to engage in regular exercises, especially the Kegel exercise. Then there are some natural supplements that don't have any side effects that you can be taking. These things will help you, okay? Don't just get up and walk away when you ejaculate, okay? Try to engage in prolonged foreplay before sex. Kiss her, cuddle her, fondle her, so that she can be satisfied. Some women don't just come with ordinary penile penetration alone. Find out what turns her on during sex. Engage in these things. It will help your sexual life. Let it not be all about your satisfaction, but more of hers too. That way, your sexual life will be better than it is already. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Are you awake already? Yeah. Uh, no. What's up? I brought you breakfast. Oh. You made me breakfast today? Yeah. Last night you made me feel in a way I've never felt before and this it's just a way of saying thank you to you. No, so that I should be the one saying thank you. You know, I... I never knew that love making could be so... so awesome. I love you so much. Come in, the door is open. Oh, 
Wow, look who we have here. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Duncan Mbanifo. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, all right. Oh. What's happening here? Mr. and Mrs. Oh. Uchendo. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Oh. I'm all right. I'm good. Welcome. Come on, I'm good. Oh, Please have your seat. Have your yeah. seat. Thank sit, you sit, 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 sit. <clears throat> this one that you guys are uh, in our house looking so fly and uh, the bottle of wine. Well, something good is happening in our marriage. So my wife and I decided to come and celebrate with you guys. You see, my wife and I are like newly wedded couple. Are you serious? Tell it. <laughs> Funny <laughs> enough, it's the same thing with my wife. Wow. <laughs> so you said, my wife woke up this morning and said to me, why don't we go pay the Uchindos a visit and um, celebrate this, this newly found happiness in our marriage together. Wow. And so we decided to come with this. So Are you serious? Start with this. <laughs> Honey, please get us the uh, glasses. I thought she'd never ask. Yeah. <laughs> now I know what they mean when they say marriage is sweet. <laughs> very, very sweet. <laughs> very, very sweet. Oh, wow, this is good. Sure. This How is I good. wish other couples out there can stand up and, you know, work on their, on their marriage instead of thinking this harsh decisions that will, you know, jeopardize their marriage later. You couldn't have said it any better, I tell you, my brother. <laughs> you couldn't have. You couldn't have. All right, then we're going to... Pop. Celebrate with this. The pop this one. We'll pop it. The pop this one. Pop it. <laughs> we'll pop it. Uh, there you go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. okay. So let's do this. Yeah. Let's get up. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is really an amazing time, I tell you guys. Uh, I know. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I'm glad. Look at, look at them. <laughs> look at them, they're tongue yes. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy, honestly. Yeah. Oh, okay, so... Oh, let's wow. do this! <laughs> yeah, let's go. There you go. Oh. <laughs> happy wife, happy wife. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so we are toasting to happiness, we are toasting to love, mm -hmm. we are toasting to an amazing marriage. Thank you. <laughs> cheers. 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 Yeah. Mm. This is really good. Mm. Yeah, I. We've <laughs> 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 always had a good taste for wine. <laughs> you know right? I just can help your tongue very well. Mm. <laughs> we did my tongue with this. Oh! <laughs> 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 